FC, Halifax, Aldershot Town, and Southend United. Three teams on the brink of qualifying for the National League playoffs, all separated by a mere three points, and most importantly, one deciding game. Today will be the day one team ends it elated, jumping for joy with the other two staying in the National League for another season. I have had the privilege of being a vlogger for South United ever since their relegation from the Football League in the 2021 season. And let's not get it wrong, there's been ups, there's been downs. Hey, we even got Santa to say something about the Blues come Christmas. Come on you Blues. <laughs> Will today be the day that us Southend fans get to see a dream come true after a horror season? Let's find out. Come on! Tom massive day today in the bar where this club was founded. Yeah. What is your score prediction today for Rochdale? My score prediction today is going to be bringing a win. Oh! Bring a win. And I just, I just want to concentrate on this game. Not worth it. We're going to go. So stay on the journey. We'll get the win, and then we'll see what happens next time. Yeah. And again, up the blues to finish it. Up the blues. Yes. Um, I really hope we win. I think like maybe two one. I hope Cardwell scores and Bridge. Matt, yes. incredibly proud to meet you today, and I hear you're an Alabama shrimper. Talk, Absolutely. Talk me through it. How has this come around? Yeah, uh, mates with Justin. Uh, we used to live in Sydney together, um, and so uh, yeah, when he got involved with the club, I was I was all in. And, yeah, National League subscription, watching all the games every week. It's uh, yeah, um, it's it's been really fun to get involved with the South of United this year. Is it true you used to text Justin when you were watching the games and he would allegedly watching them? <laughs> it is true. Yeah, we have, we have a group chat and like normally we're all pretty active on it, but yeah. I've, Watched every game and uh, yeah, sending him updates and yeah, occasionally, no matter where he is in the world, you know, sometimes I don't get responses and you wonder if he's actually watching the match or if he's yeah, if it's four in the morning where he is and yeah, he's, he's maybe slept in a little bit. <laughs> Quite right, Rochdale today. Yeah. Given where the club has come from. Where do you think we're going to end up come full time? Look, I think we'll do our bit. And I think 2-0. Um, I think Dagan will keep a clean sheet. I think a 2-0 win. Um, I, I think Halifax will will, uh, will lose. Like, I mean, you know, too many matches in a, in a short period of time. But uh, a little worried about Aldershot, Dagan Red. I'm not sure how that's going to go. But uh, I think we'll do our part and we'll just see where the chips fall. Beautiful. And I always end this with an up the blues. So yep. can you give me the biggest and best up the blues you can? Up the blues! I do actually go into every game thinking we're going to win 3-0. Today is going to be 3-0. Yeah. 3 nil. Yes. A cardboard hat-trick. Oh my oh, god, yeah. yes. Tom, can you match that? I'm going to go 2-0 South End. Yep. Danny Waldron and Har Harry Carbone in the score. Beautiful. Now, your old man has kind of set you up here. But, in five seconds, Tom, can you name me three South and United strikers? Your time starts now. Okay, Dakers, Marcus, uh, Marcus Dakers, Danny Waldron, and Harry Carver. You just smashed that out of the park, son. The Blues from you, Redbourns. Three, one, two, three. Up, Up the, the Blues! Blues! Justin Reese. Hello. Hello, Justin. What do we think is going to happen today? Um, well, I almost think it doesn't matter. Like, in a sense that, of course, it matters. And I think we're going to win. I think we'll win 2-0. Um... I think Halifax will lose. All the shot dagged them is my worry. No. But my point at the start was it doesn't matter in terms of we've got a club, we've got something to celebrate, we've got a four at all. The atmosphere pre game has been unbelievable in the Blue Ball, and I'm sure uh, around the place. So my point is even if today didn't have anything to play for, it was a day of celebration. However, we do have something to play for, which makes it all the more exciting. I've been buzzing since like Thursday, really, since the. Uh, Halifax game ended and I'm sure every Shrimper fan has been so thanks to Kevin and the team for giving us something to hope for and cheer for on the final day. Beautiful. Your mate Matt over here, yep. he did a beautiful up the blues to finish this. He did. You, I will, you've got to he, it he's American so there is no chance of topping an American <laughs> for his enthusiasm. Mine will be an understated, reserved but equally heartfelt up the blues. <laughs> Oh, 
crowd here to witness magic happen at Rootsall. Come on! since that goal. Just nice and easy pace to it. You need to step it up a gear. That is not the score we needed right now. 1-0 Halifax. No! No way! One game back in our favour. That little score. Come on. Time here at Roots Hall. One, one versus Rochdale. It's so close. Literally, today is the day. You have to win. You have to take advantage of the other games. And the other games, I'll put them somewhere up here so you can all see them now. But it's kind of okay in our favour going at half time. Yes, Halifax winning. Eastley have had a goal disallowed. Dags beating Oldershot. Massive for us. But we need to concentrate here. First 20 minutes, we were on fire, taking the game to Rochdale amazingly, and then it's just dipped. We've got too comfortable, and it's slowly, slowly gone downhill. Another mistake at the back, and we've let them in. And ever since Rochdale have stepped up their game, we need to reset. Half time, get in. Kev and the boys know what to say. Get the players inspired. Go get that second goal. Go get a third, a fourth, a fifth, whatever it takes. Just win our game and hope it comes our way. Come on! Not news I want to do here. Old shot have just scored as we kick off. No! Go on, Bridgie. Go on. Yeah. 
it's not going to be the year. It's unfortunate, but now we just focus on us. Finish on a high, come on. Right, then all for the final time this season. It has finished full time here in Southend and it is a final day loss of 2-1 to Rochdale. The unbeaten run of 15 games comes to an end and Southend finished the season in ninth, I believe, and Halifax have made the playoffs. And as gutting as it is not to make those playoffs, when you look back at our season and where we've come from, I am more, and I mean more than happy, for a top half, ninth place finish. We could have been labelled relegation and all down in the bottom of the tail throughout the season. And we have managed to finish here and put ourselves in a prediction today. Minor points off the playoffs. If we had had our 10 points, we would have been fourth. We would have been playing playoff football come Wednesday or Tuesday next week. But, oh, hello. <laughs> you found me. Yes. <laughs> See you next season, mate. See you next season, you. We're just unlucky, yeah. Yeah, we're we're just unlucky, yeah. Like you said. Yeah. See you oh. next season, mate. And he's just said that perfectly. <laughs> 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 Thank you, mate. Cheers. Yeah. Well, that just says it, folks. That right there. That's that. All done. Thank you, Terry, for rounding that up. But thank you as well, you lovely people, for an amazing season on this channel. We've seen numbers grow through the roof on this channel. Subscribers, shares, likes, these videos, and you guys make this channel what it is today. So I thank you all. I'm going to end it in my traditional BP spot for the final time of this season. Thank you all. Peace. <laughs>